speaking of voice actors, uh, my topic kind of transitions correctly. Uh, well, it's topic. Fucking ruined that it. should anyway, just be yeah, the meme. Out, that man. really just needs to be the meme from now on. Like us fucking transition. every every topic. Yeah. I swear yeah, to God, we're I mean, so bad at it. Here. Might as well turn it into a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they know. Damn, this is super. Now they know it's a joke. God damn it. Or is it? Uh, Next topic. <laughs> Okay, um, Fire Emblem Three Houses has voice actors. Crazy, right? What? Uh, yeah, actually, it's kind of crazy because Awakening didn't have Awakening didn't have a lot of voice acting, so it's kind of like what it's like whatever. Um, the male voice of Byleth, um, his name is Chris Nioski. I don't know, I have no idea how the fuck you say his last name. Nioski, um, has recently been caught um with some very controversial shit going down regarding him. Oh! That it was lowly. Uh, no, not really. Um, anyways, this did not come out while he was doing his voice recording for Byleth, uh, which is the main character for Violin Three Houses, but this has come out recently. Um, basically, he ad has admitted... The gist of it is he has admitted to various abuse and sexual misconduct over the course of... The past couple of years over against, you know, friends and family of his, so his ex-girlfriends, family, you know, things of that respect. Um, it's gotten really bad. Um, he oh. basically he basically admits to it on his Tumblr, uh, saying he apologizes to all the people that he's hurt, you know, that he's sorry for what he did, that he doesn't, you know, want apologies or whatever. It's quite it's quite the list of of awful awfulness that he has left behind. You know, exploitation, sexual harassment, really bad stuff. And Damn dude. Yeah, and Nintendo was not aware of this. He actually um also on top of everything else, he breaks NDA by announcing his role as Byleth to a person before Byleth was announced, the voice actor was announced to the public. So he's even broken NDA. Nintendo has quickly, has quickly, quickly gone and distanced themselves from Christopher Nioski. They have removed his name from the credits. So he's no longer credited to the character of Byleth in the game. Um, the character of Byleth um, in Fire Emblem Heroes, the mobile game, has been recast to a different voice actor. Um, and in a future patch, Nintendo has vowed to remove the voice of Christopher Noyeski completely from the game and to replace him by the new voice actor. Now, is this like a Me Too thing, or is like he deserves every little bit of this? This seems like a he deserves every bit of Whoa, this. Oh, okay. Because it seems like he's been a shitty individual. Um, I, I don't know what to say, because I'm playing through the game already, and I'm but I'm hearing his voice, so Just, like uh, distance yourself. <laughs> do you uh, do you self insert, young? Are you <laughs> are you the abuser now? <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of a that's kind of a part of it. Honestly. Is it okay? Yeah, because uh -huh. I am like because Violet is for mo the most part a silent protagonist. So whenever I ever hear his voice in game, like when he's because most of his voice comes in during combat or whatever. Whenever he levels up, whenever he like fights or whatever. What does he say when he levels up? I don't know, he's like, I, I don't know, Level try harder. Up. Yeah, try harder. things like that. Or... I did it! Uh, man, it's weird. It's just, it's super weird, because it's just happening as I'm playing through the game that the controversy is going down in, and his voice is going to get removed very, like, he's going to get removed, basically, so. Mm. It's probably going to be, like, some special additions, like, 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 you know, people having pre, pre-patch, and they're gonna hold oh. on to it and sell it like when people have phones a Flappy Bird, because oh, they can't get no, it. Oh, that's right. So yeah. don't yeah, update it. Thought about that. You can PT? sell. You can sell a Switch pre-patched. Oh. Well, actually, if you buy the game like from here on out, as long as you don't connect to the internet, yeah, you're always gonna have it. So. Copy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. But yo, it's gonna make the price shoot up more, right? Because Young was saying it was scarce. But dude. Yeah. yeah, it's scarce already. Like you can't find it. I get it. You can't find. It. You said he was in the mobile game. Does he? Did so? Is he a? He's no, a totally he's new. A, no, he's not. A, no, he's not in the mobile game. They removed his voice from the. 
Oh, he yeah, he was voicing someone else in the mobile game. I thought no, the... he was voicing he was voicing Violet in the mobile game, and then they immediately replaced in two days. And ah. within like two, yeah. Dang. So he was supposed to be like a tie-in character to the mobile, but they got rid of him. Well, I mean, he yeah. Okay. It's, it's strange, man. It's super strange. So is this I'm... like a topic you want to bring up for separating artists versus the art, or? <laughs> Can you? <laughs> God. Can you play I'm, through I'm the game? <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, because uh, I think I can separate the artist from the art. But I think if I play this game a couple of, a couple of weeks down the line when they replace his voice actor, I'm gonna have trouble. I see. Hmm. That's when you switch because to the Japanese. <laughs> when you when you when you get invested in a voice actor, like when they've voiced that character for a long time, or when you've gone through a game a long time with that character, it's hard to hear another voice. Like Spike, so iconic. Like like Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. So they had um Not is Yuri it Matt? Lowell? Uh yeah, Yuri Lowell was voiced by uh was it Matt Mercer? Yuri Lowell Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal was voiced by the main character of um Yeah, was it Yuri Lowenthal? Fuck. <laughs> you're you're hella confusing you're hella confusing me cuz hey, I'm pretty sure guy? Um, the main character was Yuri in Tales of Vesperia. Um, I'm just gonna look it up really quick. Alright. I'll this just bring up, fuck this. yeah, look it up. I'll, uh, bring up something else really quick. Uh, Tales of Symphonia, the main character Lloyd, he was also voiced by Robin from Teen Titans. That was pretty cool. What? I know, it was great. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, go on. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, in the original Tales of Vesperia, Yuri Lo Lowell, which is basically the main character of, um, Fire Tales of Vesperia, was voiced by Troy Baker. Obviously, oh. as, as you guys now know, Troy Baker is a super well-known voice actor who's probably worth a lot of uh, probably worth a lot of time and money to hire him to do voice work. Um, they recently released the Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, but they did not bring back Troy Baker as the voice. They brought Grant George, but they used Troy Baker's voice for some of the game, and they used Grant George's voice for other parts of the game. So you hear the differences in their voice. So it's weird. It's weird when you go through the game because sometimes you're you can tell that it's Troy Baker, and sometimes you can tell that it's Grant George. So it, this is not controversy either. Troy Baker said he would be willing to come back to to voice Yuri, but they just didn't rehire him for whatever reason. So I don't to to having different voice actors is weird to me. So for them to replace the voice of Violet with another voice, and then I might have to go through the game with that other voice is going to be weird. Hmm. I don't know. It's like when you watch an anime in uh, Japanese and then you try to listen to the dub, it sounds gross. But then if you do the dub first, the Japanese, it's like, ooh, it's whatever you, you hear first. Could you imagine a fucking Spike, Spike Seagal from Cowboy Bebop being voiced by That'd be crazy. Steve Bloom's the only Spike Spiegel. Exactly. <laughs> I think I've ever actually watched the Japanese version right. of It's so weird. It's so <laughs> weird. Woof. It's so I just, weird. I like all their voices so much. And exactly. It, it's weird. So on one hand, it's weird. On the other hand, I understand. So you can't have this guy being a fucking voice of your game if he's going to do all this weird shit with other people. That's fair. So, uh, less than a moral of the story, just uh, don't get caught and Nintendo won't will remove you. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, he was being <laughs> he honest. Admitted it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He admitted it. At least he was being honest. If, yeah. if nothing else. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's not much to say there. It's a sad story of somebody who had a job that was a, a fantastic job that just ruined it. By being don't do stupid trouble. shit, kids. Yeah. Okay. Stay in drugs, do your school. A little bit off topic really quick, but uh, it has something to do with the voice acting. Have you guys ever seen the behind the scenes of uh, Goku's English voice actor uh, like in, in the booth? No. I th they had like no. a, a little video. It was during the, the Broly movie, I think, or the, the Battle of the Gods, where they showed him in the back booth. He's screaming. He's going, ah! And you can see him like actually like holding his hands out, going all crazy nuts. You guys have to see it. It's so sick. That's amazing. It's nuts. That's funny. All right. Well, you know. 
Honestly, I think I think Christopher Sabat is probably the, one of the best voice actors in the Vegeta? business. Vegeta? No, but All Might though. All Might, exactly. I don't even associate him with Vegeta. Vegeta dude. I I know, but I don't associate him with Vegeta. Oh, anymore. oh come on. Because <laughs> All Might, because I think his All Might voice is fantastic. Have you seen it? Have, have you heard the dub when he I've fights only, All for One? Only done the Japanese. I don't, oh, I don't you, oh, the, the dub. Oh, the dub's fantastic. The dub is fantastic. Does he go, uh, holy shit, oh. <laughs> United I mean, States of Smitch? Yeah. Smitch. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's his best work. Bar I like, I like the English. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is great. But, um, um yeah, voice acting. Shit, voice acting is interesting. GG. Don't beat your wife. I, um, <laughs> Good God. Let's all get into voice acting. This that, that's where the actual oh, money fucking is. Fucking down. Let's do it. Uh, Hire me, uh, porno, porno industry, <laughs> hentai industry, and the same thing. <laughs>